Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another episode of What Did I Haul? This one, Sassy Girl Aroma. So, you, as you know, Sassy Girl Aroma lists, um, I don't know, a pre-order list of scents every two weeks. Um, she has it open for a week and then it ships about a month later. So, this is just a real small order. Just real small. Um, this... I explained in my made to melt video. So just war wound from Micah. Um, all right. So just a really small order. I've had to be more cognizant of my spending lately. So with the cost of fuel, unfortunately it makes it so my extra spending isn't necessarily as readily available. So less hauls. Um, it's not like I need wax, let's be honest. All right, so Sassy Girl Aroma always sends this um, pretty little card. All right, let's get started. The sample I received, Rain Kissed. So I'm gonna assume it's a rain scent. Honestly, it's a bit light and I do have the fan on me because it is a bit stuffy. Um, it is a real light scent but I'm thinking it's like a salty sea air kind of scent. So put it up there. So I have a few friends who absolutely love Julie's beach nights. And I'll be honest, I've never tried beach nights, but they say that her form of beach nights is the bomb. So I didn't want to get a big one because what if I didn't like it? So I did choose to get just a little guy and this is Adam's Beach Party, strawberry pound cake, and then beach nights, which is the toasted marshmallow s'mores and sea salt. So let's give it a go and we'll see if I like it. Okay, I may have smelled beach nights before. This is nice. I wouldn't say that beach nights would necessarily be in my wheelhouse though. I mean, it smells good um, and I'll melt it, but it's probably not something I'll get again, but I am very glad to have tried it. Um, <laughs> that reminds me of something. My grandmother, um, she was such an amazing person, but she was of the school of thought that you try everything once. Okay, now when it comes to certain scents, I'm not gonna try everything once, but um, I, I grew up absolutely hating asparagus. Um, and then she would say, well, have you ever tried it? Those are those key words that you have to be honest that, well, no, it just looks gross. So my grandmother always would say, you have to at least take a bite. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I never said I didn't like anything because otherwise she'd make me take a bite even if I didn't want it. So I love her to death. Um, she was... I mean, she's truly an amazing person. Um, she she taught me so much. Uh, she died of, in a car accident and uh, when she was 73, so, so quite young. But uh, she taught me so much in life. But uh, anyway, <laughs> thinking that you got to try everything once, it just, it made me think of my grandmother. Anyway, so let's get started. This scent, I, I ordered this size. So the smaller size, she had poured, um, this is Glacier. She had poured it in just this size. So I had ordered two because this was right up my alley. Peppermint, sugar, and light butter. That sounds like buttermint to me. So I'm like, yes, I ordered it. I melted it. And I was like, and she has it in loaf form right now. And I probably should have ordered it, but. This is phenomenal. It is that butteriness mixed with the peppermint. The sugar makes it sweet, so it's not like an astringent peppermint. You know, I love peppermint across the board. I mean, seriously, the stronger, the better, especially with my sinuses. This is amazing. And to me, it does smell like buttermints. It's phenomenal. And if the sale's going on, I may hop on and get a loaf. Mm, man, I love that. I'm just not a huge loaf person because I'll be honest, they just sit on my thing because I really just don't want to cut them up. These are so much easier for me. 
All right, next one, lemon sugar. And lemon sugar is sliced lemons, sweet sugar, and a hint of tart berries. So it's not just straight up lemon. So I don't know why she called it lemon sugar when it has berries in it, but I think adding the berries, depending upon how they're in there, because I just opened the box. Now this to me is, I don't, huh, tart berries. I don't smell the berries. I smell a really beautiful tart lemon and almost like sugar crystals is kind of what I'm getting. Oh, that is a really, really good lemon, a tart lemon. This is a tart lemon, maybe along the cleaner side. Um, I'm struggling closing that because you know, when you go like this, it you use all your fingers and it makes it, it freaking hurts right now, I'll be honest. Okay, next one, batters up. And you know, I love her aesthetic with her mixed colors. Um, it's funny, I this one being Glacier, those are almost like buttermint colors to me. So, all right, batter's up. Cookie, coconut, rich butter, pie crust, vanilla, and sweet sugar. Then that sound delicious. And for this one, since it's basically just all like bakery, I thought this would be a good blender if I wanted to bakeify a scent. Yes, fantastic. Okay, some people may get a little bit of buttered popcorn from this. They may. Because I could see where it could lean that way. It doesn't, I mean, it says rich butter, so maybe, but... So just be aware, if you get batters up, you might feel a little bit of butter popcorn, okay? But it's it's fantastic. I'm, okay, and then the last one is peach cobbler. So now that we've put our air conditioners in our windows, because we don't have central air out here in the country, we just don't, um, we have window air conditioners, um, some of these lighter scents are going to be harder for us to smell. So you'll see when I do my melting basket that, or what I've been warming, it's been scents that are a little stronger, um, to be able to survive the fans and the air conditioner. But this one, peach cobbler, I had to try. Um, it's fresh peaches with a touch of cinnamon baked in a buttery golden crust. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Okay, so it is not cat pee. Well, I never get that on peach, but I know that some people do. I don't. You smell peach, you smell a hint, just like you're making a pie and you just do that with cinnamon, okay? Just a hint of cinnamon, not like uh, the churros, her hot fried churros or whatever. That one, oh my gosh, that's red hot cinnamon obscene cinnamon. This, just a little pinch of bakery cinnamon and, and the pie crust. I, I don't smell a buttery note, not like I did in Batters Up. This is, this is really good. This is, I think, a very well-balanced peach pie kind of scent. I mean, cobbler, yes. I think more maybe a crumble not really a huge cobbler fan. I don't even, honestly, I don't even know if I've ever had one. I've had crumbles, you know, with the brown sugar and oats and stuff. So I, I've had those, but anyway, that's fantastic. I love it. Um, so I think overall, these are great. This one, we'll see. We'll see if I end up liking Beach Nights. I don't know, but the rest of them are fantastic. If you like a good buttermint scent, I highly, highly recommend Glacier. It's fantastic. So that's what I have for you in this episode. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.